Hello guys, to another tutorial. Today we cover noise textures. It's a new feature. We will bring up uh, the landscaping tab and open landscape material settings. You see, I already imported the landscape, so we can make this a quick one. We will choose water and land use, which defines the, um, the shapes, the, the areas where certain land users and water is painted on the landscape water is uh, somehow important so that not the default layer is painted i'll show you in a minute we will choose a landscape material here and the default layer we make it grass so we also have here different land use types water forest and scrub it's th three types so we will um, choose beach for the water and we will choose something for a scrub, maybe for a dry. I think that's okay. And I will come to this in a minute. First we will just make um, the weight maps so we can see the difference with and without noise textures. So ooh, the tiling in this landscape material is ooh. but anyway we can see here this is a lake and it's um, painted with beach material paint layer so and we did not assign any noise texture here so we can open this up all values are stored or cached here so we will select a noise texture for beach landscaping plugin comes with some example noise textures we have to go to engine if you don't see it here make sure you have enabled show engine content and show plugin content and we will dive into this plugin scroll down until you find landscaping content here we have it and there is the noise texture we will choose one of it Berlin noise i think that's good circle out okay let's assign it here and here we can choose a color channel of the noise factors it doesn't make uh, any difference here because it's black and white we choose r and then we here we have a value where we can set the minimum weight of the noise because you can see there are some areas which are black or dark gray and the these areas uh, have a, a low r value and then there is will be def the default layer painted there because this blends with the default layer we have grass selected here as default layer so this perlin noise makes this beach layer blend with the default layer and the minimum weight would be 64 so if it's lower here it will still be at minimum 64 and here we can set the tiling of the noise texture we leave it at one so we can see the difference hit replace and all the weight maps of the landscape will be replaced by our new settings and you see a little variation here which wasn't there before it's now blended with grass <coughs> well maybe you don't want to have this here in a C but because it's flat and it's easier to show I choose um, the lake here okay and once again we will try out with a more uh, tiled version of the same hit replace and see what different it makes well you see there are some more darker patterns here than before and we have like a more variation on this one this is basically what this new feature makes you can set it for every paint layer separately you have all the settings here you can choose the same uh, texture if you have like an rpg texture not a grayscale texture like let's search for it here i'm pretty sure we will have some noise textures here yeah maybe this <coughs> this offset texture which will have a lot of green in it and some red 
we will get this variation. This is baked into the weight maps. To see how the weight maps look like, uh, we can go to landscape mode. So it's not in the material, it's in, in the weight maps themselves. And we can uh, paint layer, right click, import, export, and we go to this screen, select the um, layers we have and you have to choose um, pass to export it in the name i already did here and afterwards you have to click export when you set the pass it will not be grayed out anymore and i can show you the patterns here you see on our uh, lake we have this pattern of the pattern noise we chose and it blended with the default layer which is grass so uh, here in the grass weight maps you see the opposite pattern of our blended noise which is picked into the weight maps so i hope uh, you enjoyed the tutorial and see you next time guys bye